Hey guys, Mr. Waidu Hake back with another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to deep clean the Acer Nitro 5. Make sure you take out all your stuff first. Okay. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to clean the outside of the case, back sides, everything. Uh, the screen, this, the keyboard, the mouse pad. And then we're going to open it up, I'm going to clean the inside, get rid of any dust. Uh, I'm going to show you how to clean the fans as well, best way. And uh, yeah, so what we're gonna first start with is that we'll clean the outside the first. This side, underneath sides, everything. So all you're gonna need for this is I use this Mister Muscle. It's a window cleaner, but it does the job very well, and it leaves a nice smell as well, and uh, it dries up quite quickly as well. So that's really good. And some tissue. This is for the fan maybe and for the fan you're going to need a brush and something to open it with which is this one so it's a crisscross screwdriver all right guys i'm going to go ahead and uh, clean the outside first so i'm going to grab some tissue guys okay so all you're doing is spray it on top You see how fast it dries, guys. It's a nice clean, guys. Very nice clean. So, as the pots on the left and right are actual pots and they're open, I don't actually spray anything more on this. I just wipe the sides with this, whatever's wet on this. And then the back as well. Just give a quick wipe like that. And already you can see, very nice. It's just a bit of uh, fingerprints there. Just to do a bit more. Spread it out evenly and keep wiping. All will be well, guys. This will go. Uh, uh, my laptop is very prone to dust because I live in a bad place. So this is very good. So you got the mark fix. You got the mark finish again. It's back again. Okay. Now let's clean the bottom, guys. So the bottom is not that dirty. So. This one I'll spray here on this. Let's go around like this. Okay, go ahead like that. Now this will dry up itself. That's why you don't want to spray this because it does take a while to dry, but it does dry up. All right, guys. Everything's thingy. This is a fingerprint magnet, by the way, on the top. So be very wary of that. So the next thing we'll clean is the screen. I'll show you that guys. So that's the screen there. As you can see it's very dusty so you don't want to spray it first. You just want to wipe it down. So just use your existing one. And then we'll get a new one out in a second. So just use this. Wipe off any excess dust. As you can see lots of dust on mine. Just wipe all that dust off guys. Makes it easier to clean. Just look at all that dust guys. Wipe all that dust off. So all that's left is all the sticky bits on my screen. So what we're gonna do now is get some more tissue and use that window cleaner again. I'll put a link in the description to the window cleaner if I can find the same one. So what I like to do is just leave it like that. Most of the stress is on that joint. It's not on the screen so it's all okay you can put it straight up a bit more if you want that way it's not as bad so now what i do is spray a few in the middle not too much as then it won't dry okay just go around the whole screen as you can see any residual dust is coming off as well now and you clean the Exterior, spray this a bit up. That will come there, spray that up a bit. Okay, so the screen itself is very clean right now. Show you that. Wow. 
just got a bit of dirt left so as you can see the screen is very clean I'm not sure if that's a scratch yeah that's a scratch so there's not much I can do about that the screen itself is very clean now borders are very clean now all we have left is this uh, keyboard right now so what I like to do with the keyboard is just fluff any dust out like that quickly because this is stubborn it's very stubborn the dust there so have to be because it gets stuck here you can use one of them uh, putties where it pulls all the dust out but for me when I did that on my last laptop the button actually came out itself so I don't trust that anymore I don't bother with that anymore that putty is better for PC like desktop keyboards laptop ones is very delicate so I don't recommend doing it for that so what I do now is get another tissue guys and then spray it up quite a bit as you can see squish it together a bit and then make a like that you don't want too much but not too little there you go that's plenty guys just go around the whole laptop this will get rid of any dust give a good clean go through every single key guys as you can see all the dust is coming off already over everything guys very thoroughly don't feel afraid to put some pressure on as you can see this tissue is pretty much demolished but so is the dust guys so is the dust okay so that's a lot cleaner now there's just a bit of dirt in here but there's not much i can do about that but yeah that's pretty much clean now I guess that's pretty decent now now I'm gonna go ahead and open the laptop up so how you do that is you got a few screws here use this bite bit I mean got screws here let me just show you guys do, 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 do. there you go so take out all the screws guys make sure you discharge yourself as well I'm gonna do it in a second after I took this case off make sure you keep all these screws together as well so you don't lose them So now we're going on to cleaning the inside to get rid of any dust. This will help uh, reduce your heat. It will help your fans uh, be quieter as well. So that's what we're doing now. Just taking off all the screws. Quickly show you guys. It's very helpful to have a magnetic one as well guys. You can just lift it up and it comes out. That one's out. Okay. I've actually not opened this in a long time because my screwdriver was lost. I had a black one of these, but that was lost, so I had to add a new one. This cost me £3, I believe. It was on offer, so yeah. Don't know what the price is now. Might still be the offer still on, but who knows. A bit more. Oh, this one's quite stuck in there. That one's quite stuck in there, I don't know why. Oh, never mind. Got it out with the magnet. Okay. I'm also going to be repasting it in another video sometime soon. So look out for that. The reason for that is uh, my temps have started creeping up again. So we're going to check after six months how that Arctic, not Arctic, Thermal Grizzly is holding up. So yeah. As you can see, you can already see the dust in the fan. So that could be one reason. Nearly lost the screw then. Alright guys, that's done. Pretty sure most of them are out. And then I'll show you how to open it guys. If you haven't already watched how to do it before. Alright, let me just double check all the screws out. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, all the screws out now guys. So all you do now is you want to attack it at a corner let's see so we'll attack it from this corner if you see this corner here so what you're doing is i actually can't remember how you do it it's been that long i've not done it in ages i'll just start from this corner actually right so 
dig your nails in there if you don't have nails get a guitar pick or something or one of them tools to open it up there you go simple as that can you see guys oh do you see the dust come out then wow that was a lot of dust wow that is dusty look at that guys good thing we're cleaning this ay 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 that is bad guys right so put this aside for now we can clean this in a second I'll just show you how bad the dust is. Fucking hell, guys. No wonder my fan is having a heart attack. The M.2 is covered in dust, so they'll be covering with heat. So this definitely needed a clean, good thing I opened up right now and decided to make you a video for it. All right, guys. So, I'm... I have put a vacuum tube before, but from far away, so that's how I do it. If you're going to use a vacuum, make sure it's far away, so... I'd say stand so your everything's there put your vacuum up here whatever pulls out will pull out don't put it anywhere near it just all the way up here if you got an air duster it's even better you just blow it everything away or it'll mess up your room and everything so all that dust will just come straight back out so this is everything I'm gonna wipe everything down I'll show you how to do that so just use a plain tissue right now with the plain tissue you're just going over everything okay can you see, we're just going over everything. That's just a little bit of dust. We're gonna do a thorough, we're gonna do a thorough clean in a second. We just get rid of any of the dust bunnies. Look at that. Look at that guys. Bloody hell guys. Don't know how that gets in there. That is massive. Right, we're just going around grabbing all the dust bunnies. Wow, look at that guys. Fucking hell. Right. Okay. Grab some more tissue. Get rid of the big clunks. Since we haven't got the other thing to clean it with. Alright, alright. Okay. I'll grab some more tissue there. So tissue is your best friend in this guys. That's what it is. That's pretty much what it is. So I'm just grab everything. Look at that guys, look at that. No wonder my uh, PC was having a heart attack. So maybe the thermal paste isn't thermal paste. Maybe is at fault. It's how much dust is in here, and it's only been six months. So in that six months, all this dust got in there. Wow. So I'm just wiping everything off. You can take your battery off if you want, but it's not. An, it's never been an issue for me. So just do a quick wipe like this. And make sure you discharge yourself first. I've been touching metal all day, so should be alright. But well, just to double check it, I'm just gonna double thing it myself. Alright. Alright. So the first thing we're gonna do now, since we've already cleaned the uh, base to stuff this, we're gonna base to this right now. So I'll just zoom in for you guys. Alright, so what we're gonna do is uh, spray up that. I'm gonna spray up a tissue, just a tiny bit, not too much. We don't want it to be wet and conductive. Just a little bit. That's it. No more than that. Okay. That'll be on the other side of the tissue first. Dumping it a bit. There you go. All we're doing is, can you see all that dust there? Where the fan is, that's where the dust is. So, give it a wipe. There you go, gone. All the dust is on the tissue now, can you see? Okay, do the same with the next one. And then, you can just keep going. Just go around all the surface. All the dust will come off, as you can see. Let me zoom out a bit for you guys. There you go. Just go around all the surface. Break off any of that loose d dust. Okay, fucking hell, that is bad, guys. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the brush out. And all you're doing is dusting it with the brush. Simple as that. This will get rid of any dust. Can you see? Any hard-to-reach dust will come out easily with this. Can you see it's coming out as dust 
Kan du komma upp från det kamera? That's all you're doing. Just go around everything. Get rid of all the dust. Okay. Very easy to do this, guys. Anyone can do this. I said that's pretty well done. Okay, there's a lot of dust in the air right now. There's a lot of dust next to my camera, so I'm trying to blow you away. But yeah, that's pretty much clean now. Apart from this, there, there you go. Pretty much clean. See the back of this? Back of this is fine again. We can clean the outside again if we need to. So this side's fine now. I'll leave it on the ground for now. So the next bit is I'm gonna uh, dust off everything here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna discharge myself one more time. So the way you discharge yourself is touch some metal, pure metal, guys. So make sure you touch proper metal. This way you don't get any uh, problems. Right. So what I'm gonna do now? Can you see? I'm just dusting. It's getting rid of all the dust in hard places like this. Simple as that, guys. Okay, you ready, guys? Now, be gentle when you do this one because these fans are very delicate. Be very gentle. Oh, look at that dust. You won't be able to get out all the dust because these flan blades are very thingy. You'll have to turn it over. You'll have to open this up and turn it over, which are I'm going to do in the next video anyway, so I'll clean it then. So, you're just doing the same thing with this. Just brushing it on the other side. Just do it very slowly and gently. You don't want to break any of the fan blades. Okay. So, a lot of dust has come off now. Alright, I'm just going to go around. I'm not going to touch many, I'm not going to touch many of the electrics. I'm just going to go around the edges of the metals and stuff. Just get rid of any residual dust. I don't touch anything bad. We're looking just to get the rid of the main dust, that's it. In the bad corners and stuff, that's it. Okay. Can you see that massive clunk that just come off then? So this is all the hard to reach places. This is your heatsink thing for the fan. Pull it out the back. There you go. A lot of dust has come off there. These brushes are very handy. It's just a normal art brush, paint brush, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's a lot of dust in this corner, stuck in between this. Can you see there? Don't know how well you can see that. There you go. Very nice, very nice. So, I was also going to lubricate this uh, fan a bit because sometimes it doesn't hit the max RPM when I need it to. When I press on max speed as well. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that today because. I think it'll be fine for now, so hopefully it'll be alright. Okay, let me just dust off the battery a bit. Okay. And now, for the last bit, you just want to just get some more tissue. One spray this time, no more than one. This is very delicate stuff, so you don't want to touch it. You don't want it to be wet too much. Just gonna go over the fan a bit. Tiny bit guys, just a tiny bit. Don't want to touch any don't want to touch any electronics. There you go, can you see more dust come off? A bit more dirt, yeah. Because it's wet. Gets rid of any stuck clunks. There you go, simple as that. We don't want to touch any electronics with this. So just go around the edges of stuff. Mainly the heat sink and stuff, and that's it. Uh, this would be better if you have a, what do you call it, that compressed air, but I don't, so it is what it is. I guess, so make sure you let it dry here for a bit as well, so there's no issues. There you go, simple as that, guys. So that's the deep clean. All you're doing now is putting the case back on. And you saw how much dust it was, it's much better condition right now. I'm going to do the fans a bit better by taking it off and stuff, but for that, you're going to need thermal paste. If you take this off, you're going to need thermal paste. That's why I recommend you don't take this off unless you're planning to repaste it. But I'm planning to repaste it, so I'm going to take this off regardless. But for you guys, 
this is as far as you should go unless you're going to repaste if you're going to repaste take it off and when you take it off just flip it around you can clean the fan blades easier so what you're going to do is use the brush and you're going to also use you know wet these a bit with the that lick uh, that window cleaner just a little bit one side will be wet the other side won't be you're just going to put it through each individual fan blade that's it guys well guys i thought i might as well show you how to clean the inside because it's very dusty so i might as well show you so what i'm going to do is first get off so i've took this off now as you can see uh a lot of dust a lot of dust so that needs cleaning definitely thermal repaste needs to be done because these have been they're just dried out it's very poor so the thermal performance of that's going to be very poor as well so that's why i'm going to clean everything off now so just using a plain tissue right now just to wipe all this loose dust stuff guys okay let me zoom put it down for you guys okay drop all these dust bunnies off let me do a proper clean in a second so just dropping all this off get this loose bunny oh. no wonder the temps were going mental guys so my temps will definitely get better after this because the dust is just mental and the thermal paste is so dry it's drier than the sahara desert guys all right time to get the brush out you can see how the brush helps it breaks up dust and then simply just picks it up on this it's amazing guys and it goes into small crevices very easily as you can see make sure you discharge yourself by the way so i'm just gonna clean this up get rid of all this dust there's a lot of dust here guys look at that dust all right so this fan is very dusty look at that are you ready are you watching this guys let me zoom in guys lucky oh shit never mind come on there you go here it doesn't look that dusty but with a brush you can see how much comes off it uh, there you go all that's just from this one corner so what i'm doing is wiping it onto a tissue and then that's it let me zoom back out get more cleaning in there very dusty guys very dusty you can see wow it's coming off like clump, clumps wow this is very bad good thing i am cleaning this this is just after six months since the last time i've done this you can see how fast this collectors so let me just get some of this tissue these stickers collect us like mud as well. All right. Heat sink has some on as well. Let's clean that up a bit. Okay. Dust wise, we've almost cleaned it all. It's a lot better than it was before. So that's a win. Now we're just gonna. On these fans a bit. You see the dust coming off, guys? It's coming off like a smoke. So I'm not going too fast. We just want enough to not cause issues. So there's a lot of dust coming off right now. Just run these very slowly, not too fast. You can also blow the dust off a bit if you don't have a blow duster, air duster, whatever it's called. Okay, so right now it's a lot better than it was, so I'm happy with that. And uh, anything I blowed off, I can just push back off again. Simple as that. All right, so this area is clean now. The fans are not too bad at the moment. There's just a bit of loose, loose uh, dust in there. <laughs> Hasarilla, no, 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 no
Okay, so I'm just pushing upwards through the flan blades very slowly, not to break them. So a lot of dust is coming out right now. It's all a lot of dry dust. See? So now it's accumulated there. All you do is brush it off. Simple as that. Push into the blades, wipe it on the tissue, come back for the rest. Simple as that. Let's do this this side now, can you see? It's coming off like a dust. It's coming off like a There's a lot of dust guys. Can you see that? Keep cleaning it. So you're just gonna keep doing that very slowly, not too tough. Just to get rid of all these clumps and then that's it. Your fan should be pretty much clean. You can leave it a bit dusty, it's not too bad. We'll manage because it, as you can see it's already been resting now. So I've just took a massive clump out just then. All you're doing is slowly brushing it. Spinning it slowly while brushing it. Gets rid of all these clumps. And then just brush it off like this. Now I'm going to pause the video for a second while I uh, continue this. Alright guys. That's the deep clean fully finished now. So yeah. I've done as best as I can. That's as best as you're going to get. All that's left is to repaste because I've took this off now. But if you're not. If you don't want to repaste. Don't not take this off. But if you want a deeper clean. You're going to have to take this off and repaste everything. So remember that guys, okay? So if I look on the other side now, let's flip it back over. It does look a bit dusty still, but it's not too bad. It's a lot better than before. And can you see all that dust that I've been brushing out? It's just come off there. So now, last bit is just to get rid of all this dust. The last bits of dust, which is a residual dust. That just come off from cleaning the other side. So all you're doing is brushing it and then you got big clunks, big clunks you have to take out with the tissue guys. Just take that out. Wow, oh, that's stuck in there. Come on, there you go. So big clunks take out with the tissue. And then a brush if you have to. And that's it. Just clean it up again with the dust. And that's it guys, that's it, sorted. So that's a lot better before than before so I'm happy with that and yeah well guys this has been a very long video but it's a deep clean so it is what it is so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to our channel if you're new if you got any other suggestions for videos uh, let me know see you guys next time goodbye